Hey guys and welcome back to a new lesson. So when I was playing the electric drum kit today I realised that I really missed having a right hand crash cymbal. And while extra pads are available I didn't want to spend all the money so I thought I'd make myself a little trigger. And since I'm doing it anyway I thought I'd do a little video on showing you how you can do it as well. It's really simple, it's really cheap and it actually does work. So the trigger itself only consists of two components. You've got a jack input and a piezo pickup. If you strip apart most electronic drums you'll see a piezo pickup at the centre of every drum and cymbal. And all we need to do is solder that piezo to the jack input and we've got ourselves a trigger. The jack allows us to plug in an instrument cable that then attaches to the drum module. And all the tools we really need are the soldering iron, some wire cutters and some good old tape. So with that being said, let's get into the details. So what we're going to do is we're just going to solder these two wires onto the two tabs of the jack input. So those two tabs with the circles in it, we're just going to feed that wire through and solder that together. I don't think it matters too much which way you solder it, I think it works either way. So take these two wires, strip them back if you need to, then wrap them around these two tabs and solder it all together. Very simple. All right, that's it all soldered up. And what you can do to test it is just slap a jack into it, slap it into your module and give the piezo a tap and it's making a sound on the module, then you're good to go. So it really is that simple, you just solder a piezo to an input jack and put them together and you've got a trigger. So when you plug it into your module you might want to check and change the trigger settings within the module. You'll probably need to adjust the sensitivity, the crosstalk, the re-trigger settings and make sure it all works really nicely. I've got a full lesson diving into all the trigger settings in my course The Hybrid Drummer, link below. So yeah that's about it, you plug it in, you adjust the settings and you're good to go. So I put my cymbals on a hi-hat so there'd be less vibrations and there'd be less movement so the trigger doesn't re-trigger easily. One thing I would recommend is before you put the piezo on the cymbal you should put some padding between it so even just a couple layers of tape or a bit of tissue or even like moon gel that'll do the job and it'll just reduce the vibrations after you initially hit that cymbal and again that'll reduce re-triggering. Another thing I did was leave a lot of slack in the cable and the wires so that if it does move about it won't just pull apart. Especially with the instrument cable because that's dangling down, you don't want that pulling down on the trigger. Like I said, it's a bit of a DIY hack job, but I probably will refine it at some point. So I'll just give you some proof that it actually works with a couple of videos. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little lesson and you find some use out of it. Until next time, take care. Oh my god, it looks even worse on camera. <laughs>